Hi guys and welcome to today's video. It is going to be a fun one because it is a three ingredient fall dessert recipe. So super easy, very fast. And then in the season of fall, since it is Thanksgiving weekend while I'm filming right now, I was gonna be in my comfies because that is how I realistically bake at home. Not with makeup and not in jeans. So the three ingredients that you will need are chocolate chips. You can do like semi-sweet, you can do vegan chips, anything you want. Then I got pumpkin puree, so it's like 100% pure pumpkin. And then I also have just peanut butter craft, nothing special. You can use natural, but I'm just gonna use this for this recipe. Um, and then the other thing that you'll want to use is some muffin cups. You can do the big ones, you can do the small ones. I just have these silicone ones that are really easy to clean and I absolutely love them. Um, and I just got them, I think, from Ikea. So if you don't have these already, they're the best investment ever because they're awesome and you don't need oil. So. Let's get started. First, you're gonna take half a cup of the chocolate chips and you're gonna melt them in the microwave. And then you're just gonna stir that up. So with a spoon, I just spread the chocolate in the bottom of the muffin cup. Um, when I was eating them after, I wish I did a thinner layer. So even though it is super fun to have a lot of chocolate, I would recommend just doing it a thin, thin layer and not overdoing it because then it makes it a little bit easier to eat when you take them out of the freezer. As you work on the filling, you're just going to pop the muffin tins into the freezer so that the chocolate can harden before you put the filling on top. Next, I grabbed the pumpkin puree and I just used two tablespoons. And then after that, I just mixed in two tablespoons of the peanut butter. And that was really good. I tasted it a couple times. I just wanted it to be more of a fall dish. So I ended up adding another two tablespoons of the pumpkin puree. Um, so you could definitely still taste the peanut butter, but then it was more of a fall dessert. So I recommend just kind of taste testing it as you make it and decide what kind of filling if you want it more of a peanut butter cup versus a pumpkin dessert. Once you're done the filling, go check on the muffin cups because the chocolate is probably hardened after 5 to 10 minutes. And then just begin placing the mixture into the cup on top of the chocolate. Again, because I used so much chocolate on the bottom, I didn't actually have enough with using half a cup of chocolate to put it also on the top. But if you do make a thinner layer on the bottom, that probably would have been enough for you. But again, if you are a chocolate fanatic and you do want to use half a cup for the bottom, then I recommend using a quarter cup of melted chocolate chips and then that could be for the top. And that worked out perfect and it was a nice thin layer. After you're all done, just place them into the freezer. The chocolate is going to harden pretty quickly, but the center will not. So I recommend to just keep checking on them to see if the center is as hard as you want them to be. And then when you're ready to eat them, just take them out of the freezer and then leave them warm up for about 30 minutes. So update, I am outside taking pictures of them for my thumbnail and they're so good. They're all for my hands because I didn't want to wait until they were fully frozen, so I highly recommend doing that before you bite in them. But they're so delicious, um, and it's like the perfect mix of like peanut butter and pumpkin. So if you're not like a super big pumpkin fan, like I definitely recommend these because like I don't even like pumpkin pie, and I really really like this. So I think adjust the recipe how you want. If you want it more of like a peanut butter cup, then obviously put in more peanut butter. Um, then play around with it because it's you can't go wrong with chocolate peanut butter and pumpkin puree. So anyways. Have a good one and I'll see you in my next video.